Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about this market because it is getting crazy out here on the foot market with all of these new team of the season cards with the upgrades that were released today. Everybody is like in this mode where they're just selling all of their cards because they want to do these Premier League league upgrades, which are very, very expensive. And it's draining lots of coins off the market. And uh, nobody's thinking about buying Premier League cards because these upgrade SBCs are what everybody is focused on after today. EA is draining tons of coins off this market right now as people are going out and doing these, these pack spikes in sets of 10s, 20s, and 30s. And this SBC costs like 28,000 coins, I think, at the moment. Let's check for sure on Footbin. I'm pretty sure that this SBC that came out today costs like 28K, which is crazy. Uh, the Premier League upgrade is 29,000 coins. Premier League rare cards are like almost 3K a piece uh, if you want to buy the, the cards that you need for the team, which is just crazy, man. It's just crazy that they put this SBC out and that so many people are doing these packs. It's just created like the perfect storm for EA. And that's also dropping a lot of these cards on the market to crazy low prices that like this is like the cheapest Premier League team of the season I think we have like ever had. If you go back and look at some of the past Prem Tots, last year, Salah was 2.2 mil at this time. Um, I, I don't remember about some of the other guys. I know Mane was over 2 million coins. Uh, Sun was a striker last year, so that makes a difference, but he was more expensive. I think Aubameyang was even way more expensive. Even a Van Dyke. Like a lot of these guys were m way more expensive last year. This year is just the year of supply with all the lightning rounds. And with the amount of saved up packs that we had, a lot of people are doing that these days. You can get a lot more packs through the more SBCs that are in the store and, and you can save up a lot more. So we have like a very supplied team of the season. And also people are just hitting these SBCs so hard that uh, they don't want to do anything else. And that's dropping these prices. And not a lot of people are really looking at the Prem Tots cards right now in terms of like, hey, I want to buy this for my team. Uh, that's why you're seeing a lot of these guys just drop so much because people are selling these, I think, because they want to go do upgrade SBCs. As crazy as that sounds, I really think that's why you're seeing these, these panic sells. Are these guys getting too low? That is the, the biggest question. Are they getting too low? Uh, for me, I don't think they're really going to start to rise. I don't see any reason for them to start rising until we do hit the Wednesday, Thursday time frame. Um, supposedly on Thursday is going to be the guaranteed Premier League team of the season SBC. If that does not come today on Tuesday, Tuesday today would be the other day where it would be plausible that that SBC could come. So check out Footwatch on Twitter. I'll leave a link to their Twitter in the description. They have access to the EA code um, that is you know, updated for when there's new packs that come out or new different um, types of packs that are entered into the code. So if we get a guaranteed Premier League team of the season pack that gets put in the code, tonight that usually means it's coming the next day so if we don't see that tonight then i would expect to see it um i guess it could come wednesday but it wouldn't make sense if ea is kind of following their same trend they would put that sbc out on thursday um but it's i don't know what they're gonna do man because we got the e saudi saudi league toss today as well um and if we look at that team really fast i don't know how many of you guys are really interested in this um but a lot of these guys are probably gonna end up being like some of the cheapest players by their rating. I mean, already, if you look at some of these guys, um, 80K for an 89 rated French striker, that's pretty low for an 89. If you see this guy like maybe 36 or 37K, that makes me really interested. This is an 87 rated card. A lot of these guys are going to be great for team of the season, um, SBCs in the future. And, you know, they're not bad cards. Amrabat, that's a FIFA favorite, right? He had a, a, an SBC earlier this year. This Giovinco card is what everybody's talking about. It's a juice, juice looking card. Looks really good. Hamdala looks solid as well. If you want to buy any of these guys for your team, if you want to club stock them for future SBCs or whatever, these guys are in packs through next weekend. So the lightning rounds that will come with this next team of the season set that comes this weekend they will be in packs then. So I would look to buy them on Sunday night of this next week before they go out of packs because that was kind of the low point for a lot of these um, EFL tots as well. Uh, Calvin Phillips is, bounces around all over the place, but for most of these other, other guys, especially the usable ones like a Ben Rama, Mateus Perea, you know, Sunday night I think is going to be weekend league sell-off time is going to be your time to buy a lot of those team of the season cards this next weekend. So that's my, you know, 
talk about that. It's my spiel, I guess you could say, about that. We got an objective player today as well as a part of the EFL Tots. Romarino, a Brasilver. This is a solid looking card. I think it's entirely in squad battles. Oh, there's some rivals. Uh, I mean, this card is not bad, I guess. It's not terrible, but 82 passing. Uh, I don't know if he's a five-star skiller or not. I guess I'd have to look that up. Um, but if you want to grind this, if you're a, an objective grinder, it's it's uh, pretty easy to get. Pretty easy to get card. You only have to win four rivals games, score and assist using a Brazilian player. That shouldn't be too hard. That's the hardest thing. So if you want that card, go for it uh, through objectives. But other than that, today's content was basically just the upgrade packs. Uh, that was basically all that we got. We got this Guanca as well, which is not a terrible looking card, but... Um, unless you're going to build a Saudi league team and 85 rated squad for this is just not for me. Um, the main thing again today was this four gold rare Premier League players pack and the 82 plus upgrade, which by the way, if I were doing any of these packs, if I were doing any of these packs, which I did a set of 10 82 pluses tonight, if I were doing any of these, what I would do is do the 82 pluses. Um, maybe you'll get some Prem players, right? And then maybe you throw some of those Prem players in to do a Premier League upgrade, or if you're doing these Premier League upgrades, just do a couple because I did three tonight from the club uh, and I packed myself my first Premier League team of the season card, which is now my new right back, Trent Alexander-Arnold. So I got a really nice pack pull with this card tonight. Uh, I'm kind of excited to use him. But um, other than that, I mean, it's kind of hard to pack these team of the seasons. What I would say is just, you know, test it out. Try one, try two, see if it works for you. And go from there. And that's really, really what I would do uh, with those cards. But other than that, what you can be doing since this market is just so low and it keeps dropping even lower is continue to look at out of pack special cards. If you want to invest, if you want to make coins, continue to look at the out of pack special cards. I think you want to focus on mostly Premier League. And then supposedly this weekend, we're getting Serie A. That's not confirmed yet, but that's the order that which stuff is being placed in the pack code with the, the leagues so supposedly Serie A is going to be this friday bale is 940 like Di maria 680 these cards are low pugba is 145 a lot of these cards are dropping so keep an eye out for especially premier league because i think premier league is going to maintain a lot of the hype still this week griezmann is a million wow um a lot of these cards just can hernandez is 189 that's crazy cancelo is 200 i like cancelo at 200 uh, that's a, that's a buy there if you see him there. But seriously, just wa walk through a lot of the Premier League specials. If they went up last week, like this center back Kyle Walker is somebody that I trade with a lot. 350 right now, right? He was 376k on Saturday, and I think he was even higher than that. It's 394. He was actually at around 400k, and even on Sunday, he went down to 349. Yesterday he had a low 335. He hit 330 at a couple points during the day. Just look at fluctuations like these. And if we get big time content like today, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., he was at his lowest on the PlayStation at least um, because a lot of people just sold cards to go out and do these upgrades. So what I would do is if you want to make some coins, look at these Premier League out of packs special cards, which I've been talking about and you probably heard other traders talk about. That's going to be the move, I think, this week. And if it rose last week, then it probably has a high percentage chance of rising again this week. A lot of people like this Mares. I'm a fan of that Mares. Marcelo is under a mil. Wow. Some of the stuff. Whoa. Ben Yedder is 139. Wow, man. That's crazy. So some of these drops are crazy. If you want to buy a team, all right? If you want to buy a team with some of these high rated, um, you know, shapeshifters and stuff like that, maybe like a future stars player. Somebody asked me today why this card, this guy's down over 200,000 coins. Why is he down? Well, if you think about it, Look at all these new TOTS cards for 800K. You could try out Vardy for 800K plus a little bit more. You could try out Salah. You could try out Mares for 800K. You know, um, there's a lot of cards that people are just selling because they want to go and try out these new cards because it's team of the season. These card stats are juiced and these guys have all the hype. So that's why you're seeing a lot of cards like this drop in price because you're just seeing people... Um, sell these to go buy other versions. This Hudson Adoy is 275 right now. You can still trade in this market, right? This Hudson Adoy earlier today was absolutely 240K. Yes, boom, 240. I remember seeing this price right in here, 240 at one point. Um, on Maybe it was on Sunday even, uh, 230. So I know that this Hudson Adoy gets to 250, 
You could, looks like you could even flip him from like 250 to 280. Almost every day he hits 280 at one point. And he also hits 250 the last couple of days. So you can still trade with a lot of these cards. And again, if you're looking for more of an investment for after Thursday rewards, I think Thursday rewards this week is going to be massive for the market. All of these low prices that we're starting to see now, it's all going to get pushed up immensely Thursday at rewards. A lot of coins are going to be put on the market. And the reason why I'm talking about Prem specials is because that's still going to be where a lot of the hype is because people, more people will get red player picks than people that will get um, elite or top 100 guaranteed team of the season packs, right? There's a lot more people that will get reds and they're going to probably try if they get some good prem reds to stick those in a team and make a team around them. Even if they only have five, 600 K, you can still build a decent team with some special cards, right? So you might see the, some of the lower tier guys, like maybe a Digne goes up this weekend, 110 K um, prem French left back. Maybe this Wijnaldum actually has a chance to rise this week. He didn't rise last week because of Ndidi. Maybe he has a chance to rise this week if somebody packs Trent or Robertson and wants to have some Liverpool links going on there. This Madison could rise this week. Sterling, if you see this at like two, 240, I think is a good price for him. That's where he was last week. Uh, what did he go to on the weekend? Sunday morning, he was 280. Yeah, 240 for this card or under. Today, he hit a low of 240. So yeah, if you see Sterling at like 240, I'm a fan of that. Left wing with the English links. There's a lot of English cards like Vardy. A lot of people are using him. Um, there's some English cards in here. Wambasaka, Henderson, Rashford. I don't think Rashford would really affect that Sterling price just because they're in kind of two different price zones. Um, so that's something to think about. And then other cards are just taking an absolute beating in the panic cell. I mean, this Walker card's down 100K. 100k he's down Neymar is down almost a mil Lewandowski is down like 200k this guy was 900k like two weeks ago crazy right so a lot of panic selling is happening right now there's going to be opportunities to make a lot of profit if you want to buy a team of the year high-end icon again I stress this to you watch the panic selling now right this De Bruyne is getting low again like that's low man this Mbappe was 3.6 this morning Conte was 2.4 flat earlier today Messi was 3.25. De Young has been under 1.5. So just watch the panic selling on these. If we get like leading into Thursday, I'm really curious to see with everybody knowing that Thursday is going to be a massive day on this game. I'm really curious to see if there's more sell off on some of these cards on Thursday. So if you're looking around the market for some of these undercuts, um, make sure you're trying to get bids and really, really low undercut deals because there still might be some lower prices on Thursday as we near the rewards time frame, and as we near uh, a time frame where a lot of people are going to think buy. That's the other thing that's going on with this market right now, right? Nobody's really thinking buy, buy, buy. They're just thinking, okay, I want to do upgrade packs while these cards are getting low, but there's going to be more supply coming. So they don't really feel like they want to buy just yet because people normally don't buy their weekend league teams on on a Monday or on a Tuesday, right? They normally buy them on a Thursday or on a Friday because they want to play weekend league and then they sell them afterwards because they want to have coins to do stuff during the week or to try cards out. But it almost looks like nobody's even trying cards out right now. Like nobody even wants to play with these new TOTS cards um, or at least the fact that people keep selling them to go do upgrade SBCs. This Richarlison card, I'm going to be honest, uh, I did not expect this card to be this low. This is crazy low for this card. He's under... It's like 135, man. 1.35 mil for this boosted team of the season with Charleston. 1.4 is what it shows right now, technically. Uh, but Footbin says 135. This this guy was almost 1.9 mil on the weekend. Aguero, the, these top tier guys are getting hit the most. I actually want to look at a Bamiang first, right? Remember how I keep telling you guys how this card is so rare? He is still so rare compared to all the team of the seasons. This guy's 1.7, under 1.7 mil, 1690 right now. Crazy. This guy was 2.2 mil literally three days ago on Saturday. So, and just wait until we get the, the influx of coins on the market. Um, That's going to be a crazy time. A lot of you guys want to know when to buy these cards. And I want to talk about that too. I've been telling a lot of people that, hey, Thursday is going to be your day for a lot of these with the elite reward supply. That is only if, that is only if, this is uh, the guaranteed SBC comes out on Thursday. If the guaranteed SBC is in the code and it comes out today on Tuesday or on Wednesday, then you might want to look at the panic selling on these cards just because they're so low already and they're going to be panic sold more. 
going into that SBC, then I would consider buying them then. If you see another like 10% drop or maybe even like 15, 20% drop in these cards, that's when I would take action. Like maybe a bombing gets one five and you're like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. That would be crazy. But I think it's possible. I think that could happen. One of the cards that I think is, has one of the most crazy movements, just because of how much hype this guy has, this Kevin De Bruyne was 4.4 million on Saturday. Right now, he is 3.7. He was just under 3.7 a bit ago. Uh, 3.705. This guy was just under 3.7 mil. Wild. This is the whole, it, not, it's above whole, it's club 90. This is above whole gang. This has the most in-game card stats in the game, I believe ahead of uh, Prime Icon Moments Hullet. That's going to be a card a lot of people go after, right? A Sun. Sun is 1.5 mil. Like what? These prices are just almost crazy to believe. Honestly, that's what it is. But uh, I still think our windows of opportunity here to buy these cards are probably going to be later this week uh, or whenever the upgrade SBC, the guaranteed Prime SBC does come. One interesting time period that I want to point out to you guys and just say, hey, be ready for this. If there is a lot of panic selling heading into weekend league rewards on Wednesday night, early Thursday morning before rewards start, if you see a lot of panic selling on at that time, like we see maybe this a card like this drops 100K or um, a card like Vardy drops 50, 60, 70,000 coins from where it was at you know middle of the day Wednesday, then that might be a pickup before rewards instead of during rewards. Because once rewards comes, and especially once the 6 p.m. content comes, if the guaranteed SBC is that day, and if marquee matchups is that day, once people get those coins in their clubs, especially since EA is just taking so many coins from our clubs right now, uh, which is going to happen again later this week on Thursday too with the other Premier League upgrade pack. But I still think this is going to be a time on Thursday where a lot of those cards go up because of all the coins injected. People might just be kind of done with upgrades. They might go try a couple and then just buy players they want to go. So I think Thursday is going to be a big up day on the market and then into Friday as well. Friday night, you're going to see these cards really move up. But for now and for the rest of this week, I think it just kind of trickles downward in price. If the guaranteed SBC is today, I do think you would see a lot of panic. So it seems pretty crazy that some of these cards are this cheap. I think Salah is crazy cheap. Again, this guy's team of the year last year, or team of the season, excuse me, was... Um, 2.2 million coins at this time and he's literally a million coins less i know we have uh saint maximin in this game but this is a crazy card if you look at his stats man he's got 99s in so many places the three-star weak foot hurts him but still it's a team of the season it's a lot so just watch these prices fall do some upgrade packs if you want to and just keep you can still do look at open bids on these guys man because a lot of people aren't just buying these right now there's more people selling than buying so watch open bids you might be able to do like a quick flip with a trade on any of these team of the season cards doesn't have to be a high tier one could be Wambasaka, could be kovacic um could be robertson i can't believe that this robertson team of the season card this guy was under 300k today under 300k for robertson's new team of the season there he is 300 000 coins flat for this type of left back in this game with all 90 stats in the stats that it matters for a left back. Wow. I know his strength is kind of low. You can boost that, but it's Robertson, right? This is one of the best left backs in the Prem or in the in the game. Best one in the Prem. Crazy that some of these prices are getting this low. So just be ready, right? Just have your coins ready. If that's something you do want to buy or get ready at rewards time to be able to snatch on those cards really fast and just kind of think ahead about what other market movements that we could see this week. Uh, again, I just kind of see it more trickling down throughout this week. So open upgrade packs if you want to. You can do league SBCs if you want to. I presume we might get a Premier League league SBC update today. That's something we could see. And just kind of keep tabs on those prices and watch the stuff. Again, make a plan if you want to build a team, right? Put concept players in your team and keep checking those prices every couple hours. Use the companion app, use the web app to stay on top of those prices and monitor them closely so that you know how much that card likes to fluctuate. You know if people are, are constantly buying it up when it gets undercut just a little bit, that would show a high level of demand for that card. Um, and just kind of just watch the card and see where it goes and learn its price really well over the next two days before it becomes maybe the buy time for that card. So that's the video today. Just a lot of market crashing going on right now. It's gonna all reverse on Thursday when all the coins are just pumped onto this game. It's gonna be crazy to watch, honestly. A lot of opportunity to make coins as well. but. Until then, 
We open upgrade packs and we enjoy this market crashing, I guess you could say, and just kind of wait it out. All right. It's been Nate, the foot account. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you liked it, of course, smash a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new, but I will catch you guys in a video soon. Peace out.